सर्वाइवल एनालिसिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ मॉडलिंग टेक्निक विच इज यूज टू मॉडल टाइम टू एन इवेंट ऑफ टाइम टू एन इवेंट इज टाइम टू डेथ आफ्टर हार्ट अटैक टाइम टू लोन पेमेंट टाइम टू गेट ए जॉब आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन वी ऑफन नीड टू मॉडल फॉर द टाइम टू हैपनिंग ऑफ एन इवेंट टू बिल्ड सच ए मॉडल वी यूज सर्वाइवल एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वाई कैंट वी यूज द लीनियर रिग्रेशन देर आर बेसिकली थ्री रीजन्स द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड आउटकम टाइम टू एन इवेंट इज यूजली नॉट नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द सेकेंड थिंग इज सेंसरिंग सेंसरिंग इज नथिंग बट ए पार्शियल इन्फॉर्मेशन सर टाइम टू इवेंट डेटा समटाइम सम ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन आर नॉट फुल्ली ऑब्जर्व इन द सेंस दैट समटाइम वी डो नॉट हैव फुल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट ए पर्टिकुलर आउटकम वी कैन नॉट टेक सच एन ऑब्जर्वेशन इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस वी कैन टेक इट इन सर्वाइवल मॉडल्स दैट्स अ स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ डो नॉट हैव एन इंडिपेंडेंट सेट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स और एक्सप्लेनेटरी वेरिएबल्स वी कैन नॉट यूज लीनियर रिग्रेशन बट इफ यू ओनली हैव टाइम टू एन इवेंट only we have the uh, duration that is all we have whether it's heart attack or whether it's uh, getting a job uh, we can model for the time to to event using survival model in such a scenario even without having explanatory variable we cannot of course do that uh, using linear regression so that's the basic difference or the main difference between uh, the survival analysis and the regression based models um first thing is uh, there should be clear definition of an event what an event what is death what is default what is getting a job there should be clear cut definition of that should not be any confusion at all time scale are we measuring <clears throat> in terms of the month or year or days so that is uh, very important that should be clearly defined again uh, origin of the uh, event like when it starts time to event time to event is considered to be a random variable which can take any value from 0 to plus infinity it can take any value between that and we are interested to know what is the time to variable how do we know actually uh, for a particular uh, event for that we need a population data individuals in our population do not enter the study uh, at the same time when the study ends some individuals still haven't had the event yet for example if you are doing a study on um, a patient who is undergone uh, a heart surgery is that person dying after he has undergone the heart surgery and the time window that you have taken for study is 5 um, year if an individual is not dying in that 5 year well that can be considered as a sensitive event because after that 5 year 5th year we don't know what is going to happen with that uh, that individual whether it's death whether it's getting a job or uh, defaulting on an account hasn't really happened by the end of the uh, end of the study okay it has happened after that and we don't know when it is happening but still we can include these observation in the data set some individuals they drop out of the study in the middle of the study study and uh, we have no clue what what exactly is happening to these individuals starting point here so that is the starting of the study and then you have a end period of the study so i am observing uh, the event from the start to the end that is my study window there are four people in my uh, population of course there could there will be so many of them but uh, for example say let's say there are uh, four people four individuals i am studying the first individual starts from the very beginning and then uh, it, it reaches up to the end and this event has happened hasn't happened yet okay uh, let's assume that the event is death that means the individual is is still alive we don't know when he's going to uh, be dying so we do not have information on the event for that individual for individual 1 for individual 2 it starts at the beginning and it's drop off um, in the middle of the study it doesn't continue we don't know what is happening with this individual so first individual second individual both are sensitive events the third individual here is the one uh, which is a staggered entry or it entered the study uh, not at the beginning it it ent- it enters the study um, in the middle of the study or is somewhere in the middle okay um 
and then the event happened uh, before the end the event um and then the fourth individual again a staggered entry doesn't start or doesn't enter the uh, study from the very uh, beginning but by the time uh, by the time it it is uh, ending or the study period is ending uh, we have had the event uh, happening for that individual okay so why it is happening and why it's not happening well that is not something uh, important for us the only thing that uh, is important for us is that when exactly is the event happening okay what is the time exact time that is the most important thing in the survival mode and event define is survival function denoted as s of t um so which is probability that an event happens or the event happens after time t okay capital t is when the event happens small t is the time that i am taking into consideration is this hazard function it's the instantaneous event rate uh, otherwise known as the force of mortality uh, we define it as uh, given that a person, patient has survived till time t what is the probability probability that uh, it's going to die at time t so it's the conditional probability okay using the same example we can define hazard function the, the information till we estimate these functions actually we estimate only the survival function we can get the probability density function and the hazard function directly from the survival function so we only care about the survival function we estimate the survival function in survival analysis using a particular type of estimation known as kaplan meier estimation to understand it better let me give you an example there are 50 patients uh, in the time 1 one, one person died so what's the probability that somebody is going to survive beyond time 1 it it is 49 by 50 if you know the basic rules of probability it's the number of surviving by total number of population okay so 49 by 50 is the probability that you are going to survive beyond time 1 hence the conditional probability that you are going to survive beyond time 1 is 49 uh, point, 49 by 50 i'll denote it as p of 1 um when people enters the population uh, or enters the study at time 2 out of 49 two people die uh in the time to so what's the probability conditional probability that you are going to survive beyond time to 47 by 49 but survival function or survival uh, uh survival probability is actually the unconditional probability not the conditional probability how do we get unconditional probability of surviving beyond time t first of all we denote it as s of 2 okay so s of 2 is nothing but product of conditional probability of survival at time 1 multiplied by um, the conditional probability up to time n just to generalize it your survival estimate is nothing but is the product of your uh, ni total number of population entering at time t minus number of people dying or number of events happening which is denoted as ti by total number of population at time you can see 500 people enter the population um then no event happens uh, survival probability is 1 okay because 500 by 500 is equal to 1 okay and then eight people okay survival people, survival probability gets decreased to 0.98 i can see on the screen and then it it keeps on going down going down ideally if you continue doing that for infinite infinite period of time it should go down to zero but then we have a limitation we have a limited uh, study period well curve looks like this as i said it starts with one because at time zero nobody will die right because uh, is is this the starting of the uh, study period so all the uh, people in the population as now surviving so the probability that you will are going to survive beyond this time zero is is 100%. Okay, so that's uh, probability of 1. And then slowly slowly as people die with time, the survival probability decreases with time. In particular case in the we we have ended up at 0.4 probability. Okay? Um but if you continue doing that for infinite period of time, it will be zero. So you can always plot the confluence level around the survival curve. There are several applications of uh, survival analysis. Uh, it's uh, very much used in the healthcare industry the event of interest in healthcare industry is uh, the uh, 
uh, whether a patient is dying or uh, is surviving um, it's very important to know that how many patients are going to survive beyond the first year beyond the second year third year of the operation or the treatment that has been uh, given to the patient uh, it's very well known in, uh, in insurance in, in insurance industry as well uh, because uh, you know for pricing purposes uh, the uh, insurance provider need to know that how many people are going to die uh, you know what's the probability that uh, you know n number of or x number of people are going to die in the first year in the second year and so on and based on that it it, uh, it charges or it it sets the price of different insurance product the well known in credit risk uh, uh, analytics as well in the banking uh, domain uh, there are so many events that happen uh, related to uh, lending uh, a, a customer can default yeah, the customer can go into delinquency or bank the industry need to know that uh, when is that event going to happen or what's the probability that an event will happen next year uh, at two years from now five years from now and uh, what is the probability that a particular customer or particular set of customer are going to default is used mostly thanks